to my YouTube channel. Thanks for sticking around and giving me a chance. If you're new here, hello, my name is Michelle Winter. And if you like what you're seeing on this channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe. So today, I'm going to do my show you my leotard collection. And just a disclaimer, this is not any sort of bragging thing or to say I have so many leotards which I don't really have that many but more of like a type of review thing if you like some of these leotards I will try my best to find their links in the description and if you want to see more pictures of these leotards make sure to go follow my Instagram at Ballet Mache. the link is in the description so let's get into the video leotard number one this is how it looks. I really love this leotard. I got this leotard in 2015, if I can remember, um, for one of my ballet exams. So this leotard you can't really buy anywhere because it was made for me. But it's such a pretty colour. I love this colour. And it has a mesh on the top, as you can see, and in the back as well. You will see it better when I try it on. The only thing is it's pretty old so it's getting worn out and the mesh is wearing out as well. And it's also getting very see-through. <laughs> leotards in order by the way so the first one was from 2015 so the next two leotards I'm not sure when I got them but I know I got them before I got the rest that I'm going to show you so the next two leotards are pretty basic they're just normal leotards that you can pretty much buy at any sports shop so this one's just a plain black leotard as you can see nothing very special about it it has quite a high cut but it's getting pretty small for me. I got this from Mr. Price Sport. I don't, I don't think it's a shop anywhere else. And this is a size 11 to 12. So no wonder it's kind of small. So this is my next leotard. It's pretty much the same as um, the last one. And I realized I haven't worn this leotard in quite some time. But it's actually really comfortable compared to the other one. The material is a lot softer and it feels a bit bigger. So it's a lot more stretchy for me. And this is from A to Z collection. I don't know if that's a shop, but that's where I got it. I don't know when I got it, but that's when I got it. And it's a size 32, so it's still my size now. So no wonder it still fits me. If you've seen my Instagram, you would know I have a lot of red leotards and it's not by choice. I just happen to always get red leotards. So now, from now on, I literally, like when I see a red leotard, I look away because I can't afford to have another red leotard. Red leotard count one. We have another red leotard. Red leotard count two. Okay, so this leotard, I this was from 2017. I got this one in 2017 when I did a ballet exam as well. Here's a photo. So yeah, I did this from a ballet exam, and I love the back of this leotard. This is a very pretty leotard in the back. You will see a better when I put it on. But this leotard's a bit small for me now. The straps are kind of like strangling me, I don't know why. And also, I don't know, this leotard, when they sewed it, they obviously made the straps smaller, but this piece always comes out at the side. So you'll see that when I put it on. So like every time I was dancing, this thing would flap out and it looks weird. So yeah, but otherwise I really like this leotard. It's really pretty. And it has a little elastic thing and on the inside it has another piece of material so it's not so see-through. So yeah, I don't wear this leotard a lot anymore because it kind of feels small for me. And this leotard is from 
also A to Z collection. So I think that's a leotard maker here because that's obviously where I got them. And it's also a size 32, but it it doesn't feel like a size 32. It's so, yeah. Also, when this thing gets tangled, it's it's quite a mess to try and untangle it. But yeah, that is this one. I got this in 2018, in December 2018, my Christmas shopping from the ballet world. So this is from Sancho, if I am correct. This is like a navy blue color, it looks pretty black on the camera, but yeah. And I really love this leotard. It has like, it's like made out of a t-shirt material, so it's really soft and comfortable. And it also has like a little bit of elastic in the front, so it makes that riff, riffle, or whatever you call it. And it has this material on the inside, so it's not so see-through. And then the back is also really, really pretty. It has like all these straps that cross over. So yeah, I really like this leotard. 92% cotton and 8% lycra, so it's made out of a cotton. So it's almost like a t-shirt material, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I really like this leotard. It's really comfortable as well. This is like my go-to leotard. I also got this in December 2018. So I love this year It's such a pretty color. So it's purple as you can see. And it has these little lace cap sleeve and a beautiful lace back. And as you can see, that material underneath, that's how you know your leotard is quality. <laughs> and also a bit of elastic, so it makes that little elastic there. I love the neckline of this leotard and also the sleeves, it's really pretty. My only problem with this leotard is that I put it in the wash one time and it now has a hole in it. So I didn't even get to take pictures of this leotard, it's very delicate, the lace, it drips really easy. So this leotard is from KH Martin, I love it, but just be warned if you get it that it's really delicate, so rather hand wash it. And this is... 91% mineral microfiber and 9% lycra. So this leotard is really soft. So my next leotard I actually got very recently. I got it from a Ballet World online type of sale where you had to comment and the first five comments got it cheaper. So this is also from Sancha. I have a lot of leotards from Sancha and that is basically just because there's not a lot of um, ballet shops here and you can't really online do online shopping or if you do it gets really expensive to ship it here. So like I would love to get Grishko leotards and it will get really expensive for me to ship it all the way here. So that's why I don't have any Grishko leotards even though I'm such a Grishko lover. But yeah, so this is a Sancha leotard. This is just a basic black leotard. It's good for if you have like a intensive or something like that. And it has that material on the inside so it's not so see-through. You can't really see it because it's black. And that little um, elastic in the front. So these are just some basic spaghetti strap straps. And the back is also pretty basic but it's actually a really comfortable leotard. And this is also one of those t-shirt material cotton types of fan things. <laughs> very comfy, very fun. And let me show you the Sancha. And there is the Sancha emblem. So yeah. So those are like all my basic leotards that I can just wear for classes and then my next two leotards are ones that I wore for my competition in 2018 but I still wear them to class because I mean I'm not just going to wear them once and then throw them away or give them away. 
because they still fit me. So yeah, let's show you those ones. It's red. <laughs> so this I used for my first ever point solo. So you will see the picture. And yeah, I really love this guitar. Like I actually love this guitar. So this is also from Sancho, what a shocker. So it's 91% Merrill and 9% Lycra. Um, so the straps for this one are actually really long, which is surprising because this is a size four and I'm actually a size six. But yeah, so I had to basically, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I had to basically sew them smaller, which was quite difficult because I had to basically sew it by hand and sew it on the sides over there. But I did it a bit too small, so now the straps are kind of tight on my shoulders. But you know what? I can always fix that. That was kind of my fault. But yeah, I really love this leotard. It looks so pretty. And obviously it has that inside material. And the skirt on this leotard is actually so soft. It's like out of this stretchy type of material. So it stretches. And yeah, I really love this guitar. I don't know what else to say that other than I love it. <laughs> the final guitar almost looks exactly the same as the previous one. And I did this for the same competition, but obviously a different dance. I did this for a duet dance. And I was kind of annoyed because I had to, we had these leotards made, and this costume made, but it almost looked exactly the same as the previous one and it was really expensive. <laughs> so I ended up getting two leotards that almost looked exactly the same. So this is this one. Um, I need to see if I can see who made this. The label says, um, Dance Femme. I've never heard of this brand in my life. I just think it's someone who makes leotards by order. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one because, I don't know, I just feel like it makes me look very flat, if you get what I mean. I look very boxy in this leotard. And also, I don't like how high the mesh goes. It like cuts your neck. It like, it almost feels like it's strangling you. But otherwise, it's very well quality. It's very soft. And the skirt is made of the same material than what the leotard's made of, so it's also quite stretchy. And this skirt looks really pretty when you turn the yard. It's basically a mesh on the top. So this is like a wine color. I use this for my NG Generation search video. If you want to see that on my Instagram, I'll try and link it below. my video I hope you enjoyed and I will try my best to find links to the ones that you can buy online if you want to buy them and comment down below what your favorite leotard was if you like this video like it subscribe to my channel make sure to turn on those that bell notification you know so you can know every time I post a video bye